Good morning, everybody. It's Sally, and I'm here to green light my day. Um, yes, yesterday was a rough day for me. I couldn't even green light myself, uh, much less do it for anybody else. So thanks, Janie, for filling in for me. Um, it was just purely exhausted, physically exhausted. I'd had a lot of workout that week. I'd walked four days in a row, rambled four days in a row, up every morning, out the door by 8.30, and just spent. So, today, I came down, sat at the computer, and started to feel inspired by spring. Inspired by flowers, pictures of flowers that I have. Hopefully, I'll be able to um, uh, share them with you on YouTube. Um, and it just made me realize how beautiful it is to be alive every day. So I, I, I greenlit my morning with thoughts of beautiful flowers and how they come back every spring. And, and the other day I was thinking about how wonderful it is to see the things pushing through um, the soil this time of year here in England and that we're on the verge of the most breathtaking um, show of blue that I think you could see anywhere in the world and it's when the bluebells are in bloom and they're only in bloom I mean there are these are the natural bluebells the native bluebells they have very specific needs to grow and they are in what we would call a bluebell wood they are literally in woodlands and the c floor is carpeted with green the green um, their leaves are thin and like wiry grass kind of like like um like a liriope um, but short and then the blue the blue is so dense it is carpet it is truly a carpeted blue of the whole woodland floor and you've got the beautiful trees rising up and it is absolutely absolutely the kind of thing that makes life worth living for me flowers do that for me you know, music do it. Music does it for some. Poetry does it for me. Um, beautiful words, flowers, sunshine, scenery, um, and it 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 made me think today again. Um, what it means to live every day and see the smallest things and take the, the smallest things are the greatest things. Here are these flowers that are going to push up every year from the soil. Those are the perennials. And made me stop to think. You know, those perennials, if you don't know what a perennial is versus an annual, I will share that with you. But it helped me stop and reflect on the fact that did I want to live my life? Was I a perennial or was I an annual? And I was walking through the front garden here, the front yard, as we would say, and to see some primroses pushing up in the middle of the, the garden, in the grass, in the grass, that have been there for decades, I'm sure. And I had not seen them push up before, but for some reason this was the season they were going to actually rise up in the middle of the garden, in the grass, not in the flower beds, in the grass. Primroses are everywhere here. They grow wild in the woods, too. Everywhere you go, there's an embankment of primroses along the uh, along the walkway, along the roads, on, on the banks, you know, going up into the woodland, going up into someone's, um, in the grassy area. They're everywhere. Um, earlier in the season, in the winter, we, at the end of the winter, we see the snowdrops. There are blankets of white that just fill every green space you can find. Um, and, and I thought again, those perennials have been there. Some perennial, some shrubs are perennials. I mean, there are trees are perennials. Um, bushes that flower are perennials. They, they repeat and repeat and repeat and come back every year. And all those plants will be here long after we're gone and have been here before I came, before I breathed a breath. The perennials that, that, that fill the landscape have mostly been here. And I thought about the season in my life and how the season of living here has been an annual. It, will, it was born from seed and it will die in its season. 
and it will not come back. It will send forth its children. It will send forth its seed. It will send forth its um, ability to reproduce into the winds, um, into runners. Uh, however, that annual can send forth life, its life will go on. It will be perpetuated. So too is my life here in this country. It has come from seed. The seeds have gone deep. They have, they have sprouted. They have grown. They have bloomed. They have blossomed. They have felt the sun on their face. And now their season is drawing to a close. But the seeds that have been planted from the life of that flower, the life of that plant, will carry on to generate and regenerate and regenerate. I feel like that's what I'm leaving behind here. And people have also put seeds into me. I have been planted with seeds. I am soil and I am the flower. And so are you. So, to be an annual, to have a season of, of a special season in your life is an, is an experience unto itself. But I, and in, in myself, a perennial, because I believe the joy of perennials is that, that they, they go down, they come, they're planted, they come up, they have a short season, whereas an annual might bloom for months and then die and be gone. It has one life to live, one life cycle to live. The perennial has a perennial life cycle to live. It is a bulb. It is, um, it is, and there are other things that are perennials that are not bulbs, but I'll take a bulb as an example. It, 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 it goes down into the soil. It waits, it sleeps, it feeds, it nurtures, it does its season of rest. It comes up, it has a short window. But what it gives, it gives with all its heart, and then the sun warms it and enriches it and feeds it, and it goes back down, and it multiplies under the soil during its quiet season or in its rest season. It's growing, it's multiplying, it's getting bigger and larger to send up multiple shoots the next year. The one window of time it has in that year to bloom, it sends up multiple. It has grown, it has become enriched. That is the way I want to live my life. I want my life, I want to give myself the opportunity to feed, to grow, to develop, to mature, and to bloom again in season. I personally want to bloom in season and out, but sometimes that wears you out, which is what happened to me yesterday. I tried to bloom too much. I just wanted to share those thoughts with you this morning. Give some thought to the beauty around you this spring. And before I go, I'll read you one little bit. These are a couple of clips that I put on my Facebook page today. This is a poem I posted, a little two couplet that I, well, not a couplet, two, two short verses that are about the bluebells. And I put it with a picture of the bluebells, and I'll try to share those with you. And it also kind of made me get emotional this morning because it made me think of my season here and the people in my life here um, that are like gifts to me. And you'll see what I mean when I read you this. My happy childhood hours when bluebells seemed like fairy gifts, a prize among the flowers. Those sunny days of merriment when heart and soul are free and when I dwelt with kindred hearts that loved and cared for me. I hope that speaks to you like it speaks to me. It speaks of childhood and happy hours when we were free and when we dwelt with kindred hearts that loved and cared for me. I feel loved and cared for. I hope you do too. I encourage you to read some poetry this spring. Many poets were inspired by nature. And I'm going to read one little phrase here. Oh, to be in England, now that April's there, and whoever wakes in England sees something morning, unaware, some morning unaware, that the lowest boughs in the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bowl are in tiny leaf, while the chaffinch sings on the orchard bough. 
in England now. It's just about seeing the beauty in your own land, and it is a beautiful country in spring. This was written by Robert Browning when he was away from England and ached to go home to see spring again. There's nothing quite like an English spring, and I can say there's nothing quite like a Virginia spring either, and I'm looking forward to seeing that next spring. So I wish you all well, and I'll see how many pictures and things I can post to my page. Have a great green light. Make it a wonderful, wonderful spring day wherever you are. Take care.